How often have you heard a speaker who is very funny or profound and they appear to be talking about everyday situations? You might think nothing like that ever happens to me. Of course it does, or you would not be relating to it. What that speaker has done is attribute meaning where there is not usually any. For example, in a speech for telephone operators on good customer service, my client said, Patricia, our telephone operators don't stay in Ritz-Carlton's. They don't shop at Nordstrom. How do we teach them what good service is? I said, very easy. We are all customers. We need them to act as business consultants based on their own experiences. Then apply what we learn to our own company. I told them some of my good and bad customer service stories and then asked them, who would like to tell me one of theirs? Young woman said, I went into a store to buy a leotard to go under my child's Halloween costume. I made a mistake, took the wrong side. I hadn't opened the packet. I took it back and said, excuse me, could I change this for another size? The clerk rolled his eyes and said, you don't even know what size your own kid is. She told us I made another purchase, wrote a check, and made the mistake of putting the next day's date on it. He threw a pen across the table and said, will you initial that? I went up to the customer service department and told them the story. Do you know what they said? That must be Anthony. The point I make in the speech is, here is a company who advertises we care about our customers and they know about Anthony. The most important management lesson is, it's not what you say you believe that's important. It is what you model, encourage, reward, and let happen. Now I'm going to present you with some ideas and questions that will help you with your next presentation. Start with stories you're already telling. This week, what incident or situation has compelled you to talk about it at work or the dinner table? What story makes your friends and co-workers laugh when you relate it? What is an average day for you? Start observing what happens as you go through an average day in your life. 